Hey yo, Antonio. In the last episode, we looked at the different scenes around Adelaide with and without astigmatism. Today, I want to do something similar, but with myopia, or nearsightedness. As you can probably tell, I love animals. Uh, what better way to do that than the zoo? So I want to show you different animals around Adelaide Zoo with and without myopia. There are some pretty cool animals here, so I hope you enjoy. First, we have what's known as the little penguin. These guys are literally called little penguin. You can find these guys in the southern parts of Australia and all over New Zealand. <laughs> Look at these guys waddling. Next, I found some kangaroos chilling in the sun. You'll often find videos online of very muscular kangaroos trying to pick fights with you, but from my experience, they just generally run away. The giraffe is my favourite animal in the zoo. I don't know why, but they are just so cool. Look at them. I made the mistake of going to the zoo during school holidays, so you might hear some children in the background, but that shouldn't really affect the examples that I'm about to show you. I was just so mesmerised by this giraffe, and then Another one just decided to show up, and decided it should be the star of the show. This one is called the Siamang. Uh, am I saying that right? They are an endangered species only found in Southeast Asia, or at Adelaide Zoo. This is another type of gibbon, uh, they are also critically endangered but they seem to be enjoying their time here, they're just chilling. The level of myopia that I'm showing you in these examples is minus two, because I wanted to keep things simple. I managed to capture this on video, which I'm pretty proud about. Uh, let's see that with myopia. One thing you'll notice from this footage is that because myopia, or nearsightedness, only affects distance vision, Things up close, like this pole here, that is not blurry. This one's called the Southern Cassowary. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they look pretty cool. Uh, they look like ostriches with mohawks. But the sad thing is that these ones are also endangered. This guy here is the main attraction of the zoo. Today I found out that Adelaide Zoo is the only place in the southern hemisphere that you can see pandas. I had no idea. I was told that pandas can spend up to 16 hours a day just eating bamboo, which sounds like a pretty good life. I was pretty disappointed because this tiger didn't want to come out, but I mean, tigers are mostly active during the night, so I don't blame them. And plus, there were a lot of loud children around. This is another classic zoo animal, the hippo. Uh, they're very shiny, and I remember them to be bigger than what this one is. Maybe this is a baby hippo? I want you to pay attention not just to the hippo, but to the bamboo tree as well. Again, nearsightedness means that near is clear. Check this one out. This is the dingo. Uh, to me it looks like a regular dog, but apparently these guys in the wild can be pretty dangerous. Uh, they attack sheep. So there's actually a fence that fences out dingoes in the wild. I also came across some meerkats uh, that were busy. They were digging a hole for something. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, but look at this one. This one decided to take a break. And then it decided that it needs to do some work. So it goes digging again.
There were so many other animals that I wanted to capture on video to show you guys, but this is all I have for you today. I'm happy for you to leave any questions or suggestions for future videos, but if you've learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then they'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!